up as a kid yeah. All a nigga wanna have was a very big scarf and three dollars in my pocket It's not a guy beat with a switch, but I don't give a fuck, but it's on my body Scars all up on me, but I run around what is up everybody it's jt sports match you guys with another video in this video i'm here with some more breaking news so running back darius guys has just been released by the washington football team due to being arrested for domestic violence now here are the potential charges that darius guys could be or is facing so right now he is facing one account of strangulation Three accounts of battery and one account of destruction of property. Now, there is guys, as soon as he was already reported that he was being arrested and how he turned himself in, just immediately like 15 seconds um later, Washington released him. Now, the Washington football team issued this statement about the situation concerning Darius Guy. See, here's what they said. They said, on Thursday, we learned a potential domestic violence-related incident involving running back Darius Guys. We immediately alerted the National Football League and have continued to work with them during this process. We then met with Darius to inform him that he was excused from all team act activity pending a review of this matter. This afternoon, we learned that there were multiple charges filed against Darius. Upon review of the nature of these charges and following internal discussions, we have decided to release Darius guys immediately. So, as soon as this news first broke, First, the news that broke was Darius guys being arrested on the domestic violence charges. So, I already knew as soon as that came out that he was going to be released by the team. And then, a couple of minutes later, he ended up being officially released by the Washington football team, which that came out a couple of minutes after the initial news, which first was reported that he was arrested or he turned himself in. So, when you look at the Washington football team, you basically had no choice but to release Darius Geis. And I mean, I really feel bad for Washington fans. Because they have went through a lot. This team has been through a lot this whole entire offseason. First, you have the whole entire thing with the whole name change. Then you have the, you know, the sexual harassment allegations and the big sexual harassment um story that dropped on the Washington organization. Now you got Darius guys being arrested on charges of domestic violence and others. So, I mean, I just really feel bad and I emphasize for you Washington football fans and there is guys this most likely will be basically his last chance of ever playing football again because I don't know how Darius guys is ever going to get signed by another NFL team because here's why Darius guys coming into the league I had penciled in as a first round talent and I was wondering why Darius guys didn't get drafted in the first round of the NFL draft. And he fell to the Washington football team in the second round. Well, reports came out that he didn't really have a lot of great interviews. Like he had like an interview that went really bad with the Philadelphia Eagles that ended up resulting in a shouting match. And a lot of people questioned his personality. And he had a lot of character concerns coming out. So that's why he didn't go in the first round. He fell to the Washington football team. Well, he gets drafted by the Washington football team. And he basically hasn't really done much on the field because he pretty much has been injury prone. So you take into the fact that he's injury prone. Even when he was on the field last season, he only played in a few games. And he still got injured like nearing the end of the NFL season. So you look at him not really being able to stay healthy. Then you look at him facing domestic violence charges, one account of strangulation, three accounts of battery, and one account of destruction of property. So, I mean, I think we may never see Darius guys ever suit up to play for another NFL team again unless he just has an incredible turnaround or something else happens. Now, is there a chance that Darius guys could potentially play in the NFL again? Yes, there is. But it's a really slim chance. I'd say like Darius guys pretty much has a 20% chance of making it back onto another NFL team when everything's all said and done. And I mean, this isn't one of those cases like he's being accused like he's guilty. Like he turned him on. He turned his own self in. He turned himself in. So, I mean, that just goes to show you that he is guilty. Like it's no if, ands, and buts about it. Like if you turn yourself in, that means you're guilty of something. You did something if you're willing to turn yourself in. So, I mean, Darius guys, man, 
Really unfortunate. Another player who had a lot of talent down the drain. But, I mean, I don't really think this is going to be a big loss for the Washington football team because they already have, like, a, they already have, like, grandma's nursery of halfbacks on their roster. They already have guys like Peyton Barber. Who else? They have Antonio Gibson, the rookie out of Memphis. You also got Bryce Love. So, I mean, they got more running backs that and not just name. But, I mean, that's just a few that I can name off the top of my head. Like, they have a lot of halfbacks on their roster. And plus, you look at the fact, like, Darius Geis wasn't really on the field all that much because he wasn't able to stay healthy. So, I mean, I don't think this is going to be a devastating blow to the Washington football team because they have a lot of depth and a lot of time like the halfback position. And also, oh, oh, how can I forget Adrian Peterson, the man who never ages? I, let me throw him in because I know somebody's going to talk about how you forget AP. So, I mean, they have a lot of depth and they have a lot of talent at the half-pad position. So, I'm not really worried. But, I mean, there's guys was a player who had a lot of potential and a lot of talent. And just like the whole DeAndre Baker incident, man, making dumb mistakes and dumb, de dumb decisions, man. So, I mean, there's guys... No longer a member of the Washington football team. Let me know what you guys think about this news down in the comment section down below. Make sure that you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content. And thanks for watching.